This is shipping data to various destinations. We have origin countries, weight, unit cost, and total cost. The total cost is a calculation between a multiplication of weight and unit cost. What we are shipping here are vegetables, herbs, fruits, uh, flowers, and they span four years between uh, September 2022 and January 1, 19, uh, 2019. Now these are 100,000 records. We'd like to use Pifor tables to generate reports. The first report we are going to generate is a report of shipping per month condensed per year is a summer report for the month and year and total cost. The second report is total cost by category and the third report is total cost by destination. So let's get started. The P4 tables under the insert menu offers you uh, so that you can either analyze data from a table range like the data we have here from an external data source you can get from a data model or, or directly from Power BI uh, data. So for this case, we are going to analyze data from table or range. Insert pivot table. It will pick automatically raw data from A1 to H100001. Then we'll ask you where do you want the report to be placed, whether on a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. Then on add this to the data model, I'm going to look at it later. Click OK to um, get the pivot table reporting environment so this is where the, your pivot table report will be and these are the pivot table fields that come from the headers of this raw data so here we'll have all the way from document number all the way down to total cost on the fields uh, that will create the reports are filters columns values and rows so to get us started i want us to create a report of shipping date and total amount drag the shipping date to rows and the total cost to values excel will attempt to summarize this by year but the report that we want is a report of month and year so right click in in any of the years click group and select only months and quarter uh, months and years and click ok you'll get this type of report that is from 2019 all the way to 2022 it is common practice to bring in or to bring up the, the, the most recent period to the top, select the year, go to data, and sort in descending order so that 2022 is at the top. Also, we can create um, the report format so that it's an outline uh, format where we have the year and the month in its own columns. So I'll change the report layout to outline format and also change it to tabular format so that we have it in the same line. You can see also the total amount are at the bottom of the group. So you can see total amount and the total ship cost there. So we can call this report the total by month and year or month and year summary. The second report is a report that we'll create based on destination and category and also total cost. I'll repeat the same total uh, insert before table then follow the same steps this time around i'm going to pick a category put the category on the rows and pick the destination country on the columns i then pick the amount total cost and put it here now how what you pick here really does not um, the report format depends on how you want the report to be formatted for example you can bring in the destination down here so that you have a report of the category and the destination or bring the destination at the bottom so that uh, the destination at the top so that it's this destination and category again this you can format this so that you have the outline format and and then sit using the tabular format so that you have a report like that. Other creative reports that you can have also are reports that summarize this or can filter this, say, by the origin country. So I can pick the origin country to the filters, select so that I have all countries selected and only see, say, for example, all shipping that uh, originates from Kenya. And you can get this is all from Kenya. 
So then the th last uh, report is a report where we will create a report of the category, shipping date, and the total amount. So I can name this, call this this the origin, origin and category report. Then go to raw data. Now do my last report. Insert info table. Select that. Let's click OK. And now I'll pick the shipping date. Put it here. Summarize that for me. Pick the category. Put it down here. We'll put on the columns. And then the total cost comes here. I'll then group this as the earlier reports group. Then group this by months and quarters and put it there so that I have a report of the annual and monthly. Thanks for watching. My name is David Candia.